Hi, welcome back to Mama Sanity. Thank you for tuning in once again. Um, this week, I'm going to share some words of encouragement for people who feel kind of lost in this world or lost um, in their purpose. Um, those of you that know me um, know that for the past 10 years I've been a stay-at-home mom of my four wonderful children and um, starting at the end of this month my last child will start kindergarten so I'm going to have a high schooler, a junior high, a fourth grader, and a kindergartner. So it is now time for me to get back in the workforce. I'm excited, but I'm also a little nervous. Um, I'm going to start substitute teaching, which I'm actually very, very excited about. Um, for those of you that know me, um, a long time ago, my passion and my dream was always to be an elementary school teacher. Um, love kids. Um, I used to set up my animals. I think I've talked about this uh, before in my videos. I used to set up my little animals and teach them when I was younger. Um, signed up for classes to become a teacher and a month before school started I got scared and nervous and I think the enemy filled my head with all this kind of stuff like you're not good enough, you're not creative enough. So I did the whole close my eyes, it landed on nursing, bada bing bada boom, did nursing for three years which prepared me for my three month old premature first child. Um, so I believe that there is a purpose and a rhyme and a reason for every single thing that happens. Um, I believe that there was a reason why I did nursing school, um, saw many awesome, awesome things, you know, brain surgery, heart surgery, deliver babies, like it was totally awesome, um, but then realized I'm just too emotional for that. Um, and I've kind of gone back and forth over the years of do I want to get back into teaching. Um, so. Like I said, my four children are all going to be in school and I need something that I can be on the same schedule as them because as you know, 24-7, I got to wear that mom hat. So um, I need to be able to work when I can work and take off when I need to take off. And so this is exactly, you know, I'll have the weekends off, I'll have the summer off, I'm on the exact same schedule as the kids. So this is perfect. And having said that, I'm also kind of a little bit nervous because I'm like, um, is this what my purpose is? I'm, I'm, I'm knocking on 40, okay? I'm knocking on 40's door, it's right around the corner, and I'm a mother of four, and I'm thinking, what is my purpose? Like, what am I supposed to do for the rest of my life? Um, I want to help contribute financially um, to my family, um, but in the big grand scheme of things, what does that look like? Um, so I feel that in doing this, um, I'm going to trust God and have faith, you know, maybe I'm going to start doing the sub thing and then realize, wow, this is awesome. I love it. I'm going to get my teacher certification and this is what God has planned for me. Or maybe God's saying, well, I want, you're meant to sub for a while, help as many students as you can. Um, and then that will kind of lead me on a different pathway. Who knows? So I'm just going to embrace this new adventure in my life. So let's get started. If you're feeling frightened about what comes next, don't be. Embrace the uncertainty. Allow it to lead you places. Be as brave as it challenges you and exercise both your heart and your mind as you create your own path toward happiness. Don't waste time with regret spinning wildly into your next action. Enjoy the present. Each moment as it comes because you'll never have another moment quite like it. And if you should ever look up and find yourself lost, simply take a breath and start over. Retrace your steps and go back to the purest place in your heart where your hope lives and you'll find your way again. I wanted to share that because I think that kind of fits perfect. It's kind of, you know, you have a feeling and you're like, I'm going to take this little leap of faith in this step because I think this is where I'm supposed to be. And it's a new adventure. And so you should just try it and see and just know that God's got your back and he's not going to let you fall. And he will guide your steps into which direction is next in your path. And then um, the quote for today, I believe I have posted this um, a few weeks ago as just kind of like a little um, post as a reader. Um, I got it off Pinterest um, and it says, tell yourself everything will work out. Things will get better. You are important. You are worthy of great things. You are lovable. 
the time is now, this too shall pass, you can be who you really are, the best is yet to come, you are strong, you can do this, we believe what we tell ourselves. And I wanted to share that with y'all because it's true, you kind of, you tell yourself, whether it be positive or negative, the things that we kind of play in our head or tell ourselves or things that people say to us over and over kind of become our truth. And like I said before, you know, um, people start to believe things that they hear a lot. And so why don't we choose that to be positive? So wake up each day with, I can do this and I am strong and I am smart and I am brave and I'm going to do this. So that's all I have for you today, and until next time, I hope y'all stay safe.